Hi, in this uh, video, we'll be looking at uh, what is the difference between format and informat command. I repeat, in this section, we'll be looking at what is the difference between format and informat uh, command. Uh, but even before I uh, explain what is the difference between format and informat, I have uh, typed a code here. Uh, I have created a data set which is uh, called as uh, EMP1. There are three uh, variables like ID, name, and team. Uh, I have uh, information about uh, what is the ID of the individual, what's his name, and what is the team that he belongs to. To illustrate what is the difference between format and informat, let me create a additional variable. The name of this particular variable is date of joining, right? So I've got employee ID, employee name, employee team, and I want to create a new variable which is called as date of joining, right? So let's say the date of joining for Sachin uh, is uh, 19th Jan 2014. Let's look at uh, Varun. Now his date of joining is uh, <clears throat> 20th Feb 2013. Let me just make a move on to the third individual, Krishna. His date of joining is uh, 11th May 2010. I'll move on to Kavita. With Kavita, her date of joining is 20 Jan. She's the oldest employee, so 2001. Now let's make a moment to uh, Savita, the next person. Her date of joining is uh, 16 09 2017. I've got the last person, Radha, and uh, her date of uh, joining is uh, 15th April. It's 15th April. And the year is 2016, right? So I've got six employees. I've got uh, uh, their employee name. I've got uh, employee team. I also have date of joining of each of these individuals. Now, let me select this particular code. Go ahead and execute right as you can see here employee id employee name employee team is read correctly but the problem comes with the date of joining uh, and sas displays a blank here question is uh, why is there a blank for date of joining sas is not able to understand the date here that we have specified so this is a problem which we have to rectify question is how do we rectify this now to do this to tell SAS to read the values of a variable in a particular format, we have to use what is known as the informat statement. Now, simply put, what is an informat statement? If you ask this question, what is an informat statement? The answer is very simple. Informat statement tells SAS how to read a particular variable. How to read a particular variable. Now, to do this, uh, what you can do is I'll go back to uh, I will uh, go back to line number five, right? I will declare the informat command here. Informat, right? Now informat is followed by the variable name. In this case, the variable name uh, that I'm using is uh, date of joining, and you can specify the informat uh, type here. And the informat uh, type here would be dd mm yy 10 dot right so this is how the informat uh, command works right you have the informat keyword type the variable name and then you can declare the informat name that is date month year right let me just select this and execute this. Very interestingly, as you can see here, date of joining, SAS displays 19,742. Very difficult to understand what is 19,742 uh, initially. 
for the second person it displays the date uh, it displays uh, the date of joining as 19409 let's go back to the code we had not entered 19742 anywhere we had also not entered uh, 19000 odd uh, uh, anywhere here for the date of joining the question is why is it that sas is displaying a number right at least it's displaying something which is better than uh, the earlier uh, the earlier uh, code the earlier code uh, did not display anything it just put a missing case it just put a blank entry uh, before the informat command what the informat command has done is it has told sas to read the data in a particular format but there is a problem here and the big big problem is that when it comes to sas we have to be very very careful with date variable right why should we be careful with the, the date variable sas does not understand date uh, just like that the first day in the mind of sas is 1st january 1960 sas considers 1st january 1960 as the reference date it that consider it considers that as the baseline date 1st january 1960 is considered as the uh, reference date now what sas does is it counts the number of days from the reference date which is 1st january 1960 uh, it counts the number of days between 1st january 1960 and 19th january 2014 it subtracts the uh, date it subtracts uh, 1st january 1960 and 19th january 2014 and then uh, it displays the number of days between these two dates right so 19742 is the number of days between 1st january 1960 and 19 january 2014 sas does the same thing for each employee that is it is just taking a simple subtraction it is just taking a difference between the reference date which is 1st january 1960 and each of the date of joining corresponding to every employee and therefore it counts the number of days and puts it here this is a bit of a problem because we don't want to see the date as number of days we want sas to display date as it is nothing to worry we have another command here this is where we are going to use another uh, statement here and that statement is format right just as we had in format we have another command here format now you may ask me what is format Format simply tells SAS how to display the values in the variable. I repeat, format tells SAS how to display the values in the variable. Now, to use this format command, what you can do is uh, declare the keyword, type in the keyword, followed by the variable of interest. Here, I'm interested in date of joining. I'm interested in specifying a particular format here. The format name has to be declared here. The format name is DDMMYY, right? So this is the format. Statement, right? So I've got in format, I've got format, the variable name and the format type or the format name is what I am declaring. Remember, in format tells sas how to read the values of a particular variable and format command tells sas how to display the values of a particular variable let's try this particular code now let me execute this now you can see here sas displays the date of joining as it is the way we have typed in the code exactly the same way sas displays the date of joining right uh, so this is the beauty behind format command right now this is a good interview question as well because uh, many times uh, during the course of an interview people ask what is the difference between in format and format statement right i've explained this earlier i can uh, summarize this once again in format simply tells sas how to read a variable every variable has an in format uh, name every variable also has a format type and format simply tells sas how to display the values of a variable as you can see here i've got print statement here the file that i had created is uh, emp1 so let me just uh, print this particular uh, data set let me click on the execute button 
So this is how beautifully SAS displays uh, uh, the data set that we had printed, right? This is the data set that I had created, uh, EMP1. If you want to see under the work uh, library, there's a new data set called as EMP1, right? I've got ID, name, employee team, and date of joining. So with this, I come to the end of today's presentation. In today's session, we looked at what is the difference between format and informat. Uh, I thank you very much uh, for uh, watching uh, my video. I request you to subscribe uh, to my channel. I'll see you in my next video. Thank you very much.